you know, in your book, which uh, I want to talk about because it's fantastic, you say that Alice uh, is the source of many, uh, well, of Tracy Morgan's lines. lines. Yeah. You actually, She's your daughter will say something and then you will give it right to Tracy yeah. Morgan on the yeah. show because it fits his character perfectly. It, her, yeah, especially when she was smaller. It fits, it fits <laughs> him perfectly. Like she... <laughs> <laughs> and I've said some of her things too. Like she's, she said, "I want to go to there," and we use that for for Liz Lemon one time. And she, with Tracy, we've had him say like, "Touch my knees, butt," which is some weird thing that she used to say. Um, and I'm <clears throat> hoping that even though she's getting better, that we have some more. There's some more I'm wanting to use. Like for example, she still thinks that the plural of ghost is ghostesses. So like that's perfect. <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> afraid of ghostesses. <laughs> and she had one recently that. Um, she was playing Barbies. I came in room. She was playing Barbies, and she, she had the uh, there's like a Prince doll uh, of some Disney Prince and then a Barbie. And she the Barbie had removed her pants, and was kind of angling toward the Prince. And she's saying the dolls are saying to each other, "You know, the most romantic part of the human body is the butt." <laughs> and, so I come on. And instead of being, you know, concerned that that's what she's saying, I was immediately like, that's for Tracy. <laughs> that's for Tracy. That's the other point is, you're not really listening like a good mom. No, I'm not a good mom. Mom, I'm having a lot of bad dreams and something's really worrying me. That's <laughs> perfect for Tracy. Tracy. Keep, Keep going. Use. I can use that. Yeah. Bossy pants. And um, as I said, I really love the book. And it was really, it's fun for me, too, because we have something in common, which is we both really got started to, to a good degree at, at Sign Out Live, at writing at, yeah. at, at SNL. And so I loved it when you were, you were talking about some things in the book that brought back memories. For me, you talk about the first time that you met a host at Sign Out Live, the first show yes. that you worked on, and what a big deal, because I remember that being a huge deal. Yeah, the first time, you're, the first week you're there as a writer, you get called into this meeting with the host, and you know, the, my first week the host was Sylvester Stallone, mm -hmm. which is so, I mean, that's a movie star, yeah. you know, like, and you, you can, you realize, you get in this room and you're sitting there waiting to talk to them and you realize that movie stars look different than regular people. They are sometimes a little tinier and they have really nice teeth mm -hmm. and a really nice watch. So <laughs> if, you, if you're around and you're like trying to figure out if that person is a movie star, that's... Yeah. Most small. movie stars are, and, and the, especially the ones that are kick ass for a living on yeah. screen, you see them and they, you could hold them like a baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. So that was my first week was, was Mr. Stallone, and I didn't get my own sketch on, but I got assigned to help with a sketch, which is something they make the writers follow the performers around. And then the, you sit, um, during the dress rehearsal, you sit next to Lauren Michaels, and if there's any, he gives notes, and, and he was saying to us, um, I can't understand Stallone, to ask him to enunciate more. And so the other writer I was with who had been there longer than me was like, uh, you do it. I didn't know any better, so I was like knocking on the host door. And it's so scary to go in the host dressing room. Yes. I go in there, and there's Judge Dredd, just like, you know, hanging out. And like, you know, um, I call him Rocky, but Rocky. I understand. Every, everyone has their everyone own frame of reference. Thing, yeah. Over the top. Um, I, uh, I just had to go up to him and, you know, and just be like, um, and the Rita sketch, we're just, if you could enunciate more. And he was just like, you can't understand me. But <laughs> he was so easygoing about it. He's like, okay. He's like, oh, of course. This is not the first time in his life he's been given this note. <laughs> and you realize that the the hosts they just want to do a good job. Yes. Usually they're like, yes, please tell me, tell me whatever. I'll do whatever.